And now that we are coming off the holidays, many are hopefully turning their attention back to their health. Joining me live this morning to talk about the phenomenon is or what holiday heart health is cardiovascular disease physician Dr. Hemapur from UT Health and Memorial Hermann. Good morning and thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks for having me. So let's start off by talking about what is holiday heart. Well, uh, the term holiday heart syndrome originated almost 50 years ago in 1978 when a bunch of researchers noticed that people had been admitted to the hospital with irregular heart rhythm increasingly after a weekend of binge drinking. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is what happens. Around holiday time, uh, alcohol consumption spikes. And holiday heart syndrome is a condition that causes irregular heart rhythm after binge drinking. It's basically atrial fibrillation, which is the most common irregular rhythm as a result of heavy alcohol consumption. Talk about some of the symptoms we need to look out for if we believe we have holiday heart. Of course. So the main symptoms include uh, heart palpitations, chest pains, shortness of breath, um, dizziness and uh, things of that sort. The good news is uh, the symptoms can spontaneously resolve within 12 to 24 hours. Talk about how alcohol can contribute to holiday heart. Good question. Uh, alcohol affects the heart in a few ways. Number one, it changes the electrical signaling in the molecular level. It changes, elect, uh, it causes electrolyte imbalance, especially in the calcium, and it can directly cause toxic effects on the heart muscle. And last but not least, it changes the autonomic nervous system, which is a network of nerves that control internal organs, the function of internal organs. Who is most at risk to get holiday heart, and tell us why. People with uh, pre-existing heart conditions are especially at risk. Um, other factors are dehydration, consuming heavy meals, high stress levels, and electrolyte imbalance that make people prone to having holiday heart. When, so, when should someone see a doctor if they believe they're experiencing holiday heart? Well, pay attention to your symptoms carefully. Sometimes the symptoms are subtle. So if you have any heart palpitations, heavy, any heavy sensation in your chest, seek immediate help. Nowadays, a lot of people have gadgets, watches, you know, heart monitors. Those can also offer some help, and I always review them with my patients in the office. And kind of talk, to, talk a bit more about some of those practical tips. I mean, obviously, you want to avoid drinking, but yes. what are some other ways that you can stay healthy? Very good question. So, number one prevention is uh, avoid heavy drinking. According to American Heart Association, you shouldn't drink more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men, although this is also gradually changing to milder levels. Number two, avoid salty, f salty food and uh, food in high in sugar c uh, content and large meals. It's been shown that large meals can stimulate the vagus nerve. This is a nerve that controls several functions in your body, including digestion and heart rate. So after a heavy meal, uh, temporarily, you can have elevated heart rate and blood pressure. Mm. All some very good and helpful tips. Is there anything else you'd like to mention or add? Well, the stay hydrated, exercise, and seek medical help. Uh, go to your doctor as soon as you notice any change. Thank you so much, and thank you for coming in to speak with us about holiday heart and heart health. It's always very important to stay healthy absolutely. and keep your heart going. Got to keep it pumping. Absolutely. And yeah, that is Dr. Hemapur with UT Health Houston. Thank you so much, thank you and very I hope much you have a wonderful.